Hello, my friends. Time is a very strange thing. And it gets stranger by the day, if, if a day even is a thing. <laughs> I, uh, I, I more and more often uh, get, you know, amazed or surprised or I don't know what to call it, shocked maybe by the strangeness of uh, planning things and uh, thinking about thinking about doing things certain dates certain times certain at certain points in the calendar and then uh, the date arrives it's it's almost it feels like that you know it's not that you are in a flow or, of something that you are moving through time which is the the illusion that we have it's more like you're just sitting there or being wherever you are um, in, in space-time and and then the universe or things or life just flows around you and, and unfolds because I mean all of a sudden that date that day that you had marked in the calendar has arrived as it were and it looks just like any other day it's there's no difference how can you I mean you plan something for the 29th of August or the 30th or the 27th or whatever and it looks like I mean, when you when you mark that event in the calendar two weeks ahead or whatever it is, it looks like it is a, an actual thing. You can you you kind of uh, conjure up an image in your head of time, the timeline, whatever kind of image you have in your head concerning time, and you you feel we're conditioned to 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 um, see it as it if as if it is a real, an actual thing, that that date is, exists in the future somewhere, that that's a place or something. But, I mean, it's not like that. It's just, it's just a figment of our imagination. It's just a mental construct. It doesn't exist. But then again, of course, one has to realize and understand and, and, and uh, uh, see that things don't happen all at once here in this three-dimensional reality we you have to give it that <laughs> there is some kind of inertia in the system so and that's the um, the curse and at the same time the the very beautiful thing about living here it's a curse and and it's a beautiful thing that you can imagine things you can envis envisage thing visualize things um, that you want to experience or you want to yeah, you want to happen or so, and then you can manifest it. And uh, all of a sudden it's there, it's around you. And it's the same moment, it's the same moment. You're sitting in the same moment all the time, and all of a sudden it's there. So something has, I mean, this. I've been talking about this before. The state of things has changed, but there's no time passing, because time isn't a thing, it's just the way we calculate it, or the way we, met, we, we talk about this inertia in the change of states uh, on this earth plane. But I think everything exists simultaneously. Everything that we have experienced and everything that we will experience or that will happen on, on, on earth already exists in some dimension. It's just a matter of timing when it is supposed to manifest around us or you or me or whoever whatever uh, shard of the universal consciousness that is supposed to experience that but the problem is the the curse thing is uh, that we kind of live our lives in that time prison so to speak we t we tend to think about what's going to happen in what the 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 imagined future and we also think a lot about what has happened in the imagined past which um, gives us a sense of lack of time, that there is a lack of time. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I, don't, I can't understand why people have so much time on their hands. They can do so many things. But I think that's a misconception and it's an illusion because, well, it, it ought to be uh, considering what I just said, because, uh, I mean, there is no time. There is only this moment and the sense of lack is because we don't live in the now moment we don't live in the present we live in uh, an imagined world 
a dream world. But if we live in this present moment, and this is, I mean, many, many wise people have been talking about this. Uh, you've probably heard about this, uh, living in the present moment. And it's not just a cliche. It's not a cliche. And by the way, many, most cliches are very wise, but they're called cliches because there's, they're, they're out there. They are um, verbalized so often. So uh, if you do that, <clears throat> then the, my, in my experience, I, have, I've tried to, I try to live in the present moment uh, more often than, than I used to do. I'm, I'm not successful always, but some days and some periods, I, well, there are no periods, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I managed to do that. And then my impression is that I tend to be able to do more things. Because I don't worry about what's going to happen next and next and next. I wonder how much energy and how much time that goes to worrying about whether this thing that I'm doing right now is going to be successful or not and whether or not I'm going to be able to finish that before I'm going to go on to my next chore, my next task, which is completely pointless because... <laughs> then you're not doing what you're doing. You're doing something else or you're, you're, you're living in some other place in your inner world than the place where you're supposed to be, namely doing the thing that you're supposed to do right now in this moment. Then you can do all these things. And when you're soaked up in what you're doing, it's much more wonderful and much more pleasant, of course, to do it. And you don't suffer. And then when you've done that, you can just like raise your head and go, okay, that was wonderful. What next? Oh, oh now, now there's a new task I can do. So then you do that. And then when that's finished, you, you kind of uh, look up in wonderment again and think, okay, that was nice. What now? Oh, there's a new thing happening. I'm, I'm going to dive into that instead, or also. <laughs> so my impression, my experience is that you actually have more time on your hands, what we call time, when you don't think so much about time. This is a paradox, but there is so much that is a paradox about our lives and it's not that you can't th I mean thinking is a wonderful tool that we have we should think when it's appropriate to think and when it's called for so um, it's not I'm not saying that we should never plan to do things at all the thing is that you can plan for something you can plan that you want to do something tomorrow or next week or next year or whatever you can even write it down in your calendar but just remember that that's, that's not, I mean, the calendar isn't time, it isn't a thing, it's just, it's just a tool to help you in some ways. At, once you've done that, once you've done the planning, you just step back, take a step back and return to the present moment and forget about it. You will, because you won't, your, your long time memory will not forget anything, any of that planned thing, what you planned. It won't, you, you won't forget. Don't worry about that. It's not going to happen. Everything will happen in its right place. Just take a step back and be in the present moment. Life unfolds so much more seamlessly and it's so much less of suffering if you do that. The podcast is, um, as you know, in its third season now. Uh, but this upcoming week, week, I will probably not air an episode because uh, there have been some Okay, thank you. I love you guys. Have a nice week now. Bye. Bye If you like this video and other interviews and talks on mind the shift Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Thank you.